<laughs> hey everybody, it's Midnight Weekend. Today we're gonna be talking about more snacks. Snacks, of course we're talking about snacks, dude. Oh sh- In today's Provision Vision, we are going to be talking about Japanese snacks. Yeah, not just any Japanese old snack. Japanese snacks from the airport. Japanese snacks from the airport are really awesome. I, I looked online for um, what they call souvenirs to bring home, but I don't really consider these souvenirs because mm, I don't think snacks, AKA like fast moving in your mouth goods um, are considered souvenirs because you just eat them and then they, they, they go away. The know? keepsake is in your stomach. Yeah, hashtag free the duty. And so. <laughs> okay, you need to calm down. <laughs> hashtag free the duty. Hashtag free the duty. Hashtag free the duty. Ha How did you come up with like getting these snacks? Uh, well, you know, like getting snacks at Narita Airport is always important because usually your luggage is filled to the brim and you have no more room for snacks. That's why you wait till you get to the airport and you buy more bags of stuff and then you shove it in the uh, overhead bin, you know? That's what you do. And so like, usually I just peruse all the duty-free snacks. There's always new ones. There's always good ones. This time around, I think uh, they're mostly sweet as opposed to savory. Uh, they're less chips, less crackers, mm. more, yeah, sugar-based. Because <laughs> um, you got a sweet tooth. I do. You've developed it's, uh, a sweet it's, tooth. It's, it's, it's been developing for the past like four decade. Years. Four, four oh. years. Four years. Decade? <laughs> Maybe I think, a decade. I'd say decade, yeah. Okay. Decade. Um, um, it's getting worse. It's getting yeah. worse. Today we are going to be reviewing five different snacks from the Narita Airport. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to make a more informed decision for all the instances you're ever at Narita Airport and forgot to buy actual things for your loved ones. That's right. I will note that one of them is not from Narita Airport. It's oh. actually from a side trip we took to Nico. So Nico is one hour north. Is it of, north? Yes. I would say northwest-ish. That's not true. That's not true. Judging by her face, it's not true. Okay, I think we should just taste the snacks. Okay, let's taste Neither it. of us are geography experts. And snack time. <laughs> okay, Kit Kats. So the reason why Paul and I purchased this one is because you can find Tokyo Bananas, which is a separate snack that is mm. kind of like It's twinky. an omnipresent airport snack. Yeah, but how would you describe it? It's like- It's like a bent Twinkie. Tapered at the end. You know? Yeah. Um, and Kit Kats are the two most popular duty free snacks, and they've combined them together and then made this beautiful product. So the familiarity is, is that we know both the snacks, but haven't really quite tasted it together. All right, so there's little stickies. Oh, and the little bit of the sticker, the tip of it uh -huh. is not adhesive, and I love that. That's I, uh, just, just so thoughtful. Thank yeah, you. Thank Jesus. you, Japan. Um, oh my God, this is really cool looking. It's got seat belts. They're safe on the flight. This is good stuff. I would also say that these bananas are girls. Look at the little pretty bows they have on top of their heads. Yeah, that's pretty cute, <laughs> that's man. So cute. That's super cute. I'm just okay, gonna guys. stack them over here. Yeah. So here they are. Um, Let's open them up. Oh, oh there's two. chocolate. Of course it's chocolate, it's a Kit Kat. What are you talking about, man? I know, but I was expecting like white chocolate, yellow banana chocolate. Oh, I don't crap. know what that is. I broke it in the opposite oh, direction. Okay. I don't know how to Kit Kat, I'm okay. sorry. But you know what, screw it. So it looks like a regular Kit Kat if you open it up. Mm, it's got wafers. Bananas. What the heck are you doing? All right, so we just cracked it open. Um, and it's got a cute little imprint on there. I'm assuming that says oh, that Kit cute. Kat and Tokyo banana. Let's try it. I'll try the other one. Mmm. If some house during Halloween were giving these out, I would be like, adopt me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm a fan of this. Oh, that took a turn. <laughs> you don't like them? I mean, they're fine. Are you, did you finish it? I did. You like them. I mean. Come on. I think they're fine. Mmm. Well, okay, let, let's let's take a step back. Do you like Kit Kats? I do. Do you like Tokyo Banana? I like to give them to people. You didn't answer the question. <laughs> do you like Tokyo Banana? Yes, 
I think I like them better than this. And the reason being is because I think they have a bit more real banana flavor rather than, this is the why it reminds me of the runs is because the artificial banana flavor is really artificial. Oh, so you think Tokyo Banana has more real banana flavor. That's interesting. Yeah. Cause I wonder um, when this collaboration happens, is it just a licensing thing? And Kit Kat goes, yeah, we're good. We got banana flavor over at our factory. We're not gonna need yours. Great gift. Yeah, but it's a good good size a good gift, gift for for someone that you like but don't love. <laughs> That's a good... Tokyo banana. All right, moving on. What do we got next? Oh yeah, this was from Nico and not the airport. It says in English Japanese me... style pecan nuts chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> right, it really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's super catchy. And then a whole bunch of squigglies. Just kidding. That's called calligraphy. It's won two awards, <laughs> 26 and 25. Shh, What's they, that say? I don't know. Uh, they came in 26th or 25th place. <laughs> no way. That's not a medal. I don't know. I mean, it says D, R, S, L, O, H, U, I. You know that. Oh, that could be like the 26th annual. annual? That um, makes more sense. <laughs> award of uh, Japanese. It's <laughs> so know. sad. It's so sad. I don't know what. Okay, that is. for all of our uh, Japanese or Japanese literate friends out there, feel free to let us know what it actually says. That's right. They almost look savory. Like um, they look like organs. Oh, I do. <laughs> they look like kidney beans. Oh, or something. yeah, that's strange. It's not brown. I mean, like to the chocolate extent. Mystery continues. Yeah, let's, let's open it. Oh, oh my god. This is weird. Yeah. I feel like um I I feel like I just got an OEM with... package now. It's like what's in here? Um some boxer briefs? I feel like it should have come with like a pen or something so we can write on it. Oh, hello. Ooh, this is very pretty. Oh, okay. It it kind of redeemed itself for a second here. Salon. Salon de Royale. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Just in case you want to register your chocolates. They're, oh, what? They're, Let me see that. warranty. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. These guys are prolific. All right, let's try one of these. Okay, should we share? Oh, what hey, this? what? Are it's they... a weird squarish package oh, for a bunch large. of like little beanie type snacks. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh they're huge. <laughs> What, the, what are these? Wait, did you get three in a package? I did. Okay. You don't need this for three beans. What are these? Magic beanstalk beans? Look, it's like polar bear gonads right here. Oh, oh it's that's like, weird. Um, Gall stones. Mm. No, okay. Let's try them out. Yeah, what are you expecting? I'm kind of expecting, this is like it's, a- It's a little powdery. It's like a cookie. It's, it's like, uh, it's like kinako or something. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the mouthfeel is good. Mm. It's like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but mm. there's it coated with white chocolate. It's white chocolate, but whatever they're mm. kind of powdering the outside with mm -hmm. makes that white chocolate really tolerable. Mm. Cause I don't love white chocolate. I think white chocolate is a farce. It is a farce. It almost has like a coffee taste to it a little bit. And maybe mm. that's from the powdery stuff. It gives a little bit of um, sophistication, mm. right? Sort of a finished product. Mm -hmm. This is like Here the is alternative yours. to polished chocolate. <laughs> oh, thanks. 1.5. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I think this is really good. Yeah. I, um, I would eat it with some tea or coffee. Mm. I can see it getting a little bit too sweet. So actually maybe three is the perfect amount for one pouch. Hell no. I'd be opening two or three for like a cup of coffee. Never mind. <laughs> Next up, so excited to try this. Let's corn. Let's corn. I'm gonna open this one. Do it. Before we do, let's check out the packaging. The packaging is uh, cute. I do feel like I'm on a farm in the Midwest, but it looks like it's produced by someone in Hokkaido. This snack too has a little Hokkaido. So uh, we're expecting mat. dairy. It's the Texas of Japan. It's the, the Alaska Texas of Japan. <laughs> If you guys it's, need a comparison. You know, what? It, you know what? It is kind of the Alaska of Japan. And actually a lot of Japanese people don't travel to Hokkaido because the cost of uh, touring Hokkaido uh, is as much as like going to another country. Mm. So they're like, why? Yeah. What ends up happening is a lot of tourism, mainly from other Asian countries. Um, that's so, interesting. Yeah, that's why this is at the airport. Mm. I'm really excited about this because in the visuals, it looks like there's actual kernels of corn. Yeah. Let's corn again. Oh, I appreciate that. I do too. That's cute. 
All right. Oh, wow. And wow. everybody's got a little piece of literature. I like that. <laughs> Once upon a time, let's corn the end. I'm going to have my this own let's corn. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. We're I'm going to have my own. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, oh my God. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells oh, so good. Like what? cream corn on a cookie. Yeah. Smell it. Doesn't that smell like just cream oh, chowder? It smells like solidified corn potage. What is this bottom layer? It looks like a oh. cookie on the bottom. It's like a it's like a horizontal tart. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Not what you expect, a little bit weird, but absolutely freaking delicious. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a mm. slightly drier cheesecake consistency, mm. mm -hmm. right? That's fair. Or you can say it's like a much moister, sweetened cornbread. Mmm. Yeah, it's somewhere in between the two, mm. I think. Yeah. Wow, you already killed it. I loved it. It was mm. so good. Mm. I'm just a really big fan mm. of corn. Delicious. I'm gonna eat more of those later. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's corn later. Yeah, let's corn later. All right, moving on. What do we got here? Moving on, on. This is, <laughs> this is a really exciting snack, says the typeface. Yeah. Limited Hokkaido Bei Hai Dao, right? Yep. Um, snack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's a, there's a photograph of a glowing melon. Look at this robot here. Robot. This looks like, I mean, it looks like a robot head. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, it's Wally's there it goes. face. Yeah, it's totally Wally's face. Protruded out of a snack. I'm not quite sure what to expect. Is that cheese? Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, all right. Uh, but they're small. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not a huge melon flavor fan, mm -hmm. I'm, but I'm not against it. Oh, yeah, this is it's and it strong. smells like I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite it. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, it's like an Oreo. Mm -hmm. It's like a cookies and melon cream, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then whatever's in here, it's more like a, it's still like a cookie consistency though. What, did you get anything else? I thought there was a flavor burst, but I was wrong. All in all, the consistency is the same throughout the whole bar. Yeah. And so I found that a little boring I agree. I'm glad that it was this small. It's almost like a reverse Oreo cookie where they smash both cookies in the middle. Yeah. And then just surrounded it with cream. It's an inside out Oreo. Yeah. I liked it. No, I think it's my least favorite so far, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. But I, you know, I eat anything. So there, there's that. Um, it's almost a little too sugary for me. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that one. Moving on. Last one. The most mysterious. Yes, it is. Because there's no English. No the English. The, the indicators we have here is uh, it's an egg. Is right? it? It's, this is an egg. Oh, yeah. This is a yolk. That is two sesame seeds, black. Interesting. I'm just kidding. I don't know what that is. And then there's a little chick here. Oh, hello, chick. And she's like, beep, beep. I um, like the packaging too. It's like oh, the nice. the textural thing? Yeah, it's nice and textured. It feels premium. This is so exciting. Eating Japanese snacks is like unwrapping presents every time. Okay. Keeping it classic, you know? Oh, but then you crack it open and it's like, ooh, but, uh, ooh feel it. It's, it's, it's an egg. It's an egg. We're it's in the shape of an egg. egg. Looks like there's a oh, one, two, three, three, four layers. That is a complex snack. We're gonna crack one open. Oh, just cause... look how cute it is. Oh my God. Oh, that looks like an avocado seed. I don't know how they made that thing. It's the magic snitch. Mm, it's so. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. Mmm. Ooh, look at that. So many layers. Okay, I can see. I, I like that you're able to actually mm. decipher the layers. That's like a afternoon tea kind of snack. Cause mm. it's a bit on the dry side, but it would be wonderful with a, mm. a hot beverage. Mmm. It's spongy. Yeah, it's soft. It's kind of like a cake. Yeah, it's an egg cake. Yeah. Egg shaped cake. Who would have thought to do that? Oh, it's so, it's it's really good. I appreciate that. And it's got enough 
black sesame flavor. Definitely would recommend. Not everybody would like this, but I think the older the receiver of this gift, the more likely they are to enjoy it. Kids might like it, it's in an egg shape. They might find it fun. They might. Yeah. But once they bite into it, trust me, they're gonna leave it on the table. <laughs> I mean. It's an older snack, it's I gotta a, say. It's a dessert and it's not, packed with sugar. I don't think it's, it's definitely not as sweet as the melon snack. Yeah, um, hence. But I think it's very good. It's tasty, I like it. It's very tasty. Um, I guess, I, I don't know, overall, my two favorite snacks have definitely got to be Let's Corn. Let's Corn is good. And, and this. This egg, one? Yeah, sesame egg. I like this one too. Um, my two favorites are Let's corn, and then that weird, uh, oh, the pecan thing from Nico. That's right. Why'd uh, you like that one? Why? Yeah. I mean, it's, um, it kind of changed my mind about white chocolate. Ah. Uh. And it has like this, um, creamy consistency that, uh, I, I would say is on par with like Royce chocolates, wow. which is like a Japanese chocolate that you can get at select shops. So, anyways, that's it. I mean, you know, thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Peace. Bye. Thank you.